But these seagulls are a problem. Well, no, no, they're only a problem because we made them that. How did a seagull, a seagull, a herring gull, the clue is in the name, herring gull, it eats herrings. Ah. How in the name of goodness did a seagull know that a croissant would be good for it? Only we have been feeding them. It's our fault. We've right. been feeding the gulls, we've been throwing stuff out in bins, we haven't been tying them properly, we've been having plastic bags that burst open, and seagulls are scavenging birds. They feed on offal in when trawlers throw off the offal and mm. dead things they by the sea, that's what they eat. So it's a getting a handy meal from humans. Why wouldn't they come along and do it? We've had landfill sites, dumps, bags everywhere. There was huge populations, explosions of gulls. It's the availability of food that causes the numbers to increase. We're giving them food, either advertently by actually feeding them, throwing them the last chips and throwing their bag of chips away and letting them finish it off, or inadvertently by not being tidy. So why wouldn't the seagulls work the survival of the fittest? And, then, well, and we're just raging that they're more fit than we are. They're surviving better than <laughs> so we are. So why this plan to give them a contraceptive pill and how is that going to even work? It's not a plan. Somebody said it. Just because somebody said it would be a good idea does not mean it's happening. It was a county councillor who said they have given contraceptive pills pills to pigeons in Britain. How? Therefore, well, by putting they leave it, it on put, the ground? No, they, they feed them with grain and they just give it oh. to the pigeons to eat the grains. So. But I don't know how they'd give it to the seagulls. I don't know how it would work. What would happen when the seagull got killed and was eaten by something else? Would they have all that oh, estrogen in them? Yeah. I mean, it's nuts. It's crackers. That is not the way to do it. I mean, who's to know what seagulls eat that eat that and they can get their hands on? So do you put it out and the foxes eat it and the dog eats it and the birds eat it? I mean, how can you say, this is seagull food, big sign up, yeah. seagulls can eat seagull okay. food. Sounds yes. like clickbait, to be honest, that it was thrown yeah, out there it and does, everyone's it does, yeah, yeah. Now that you said it, the council said it, it makes perfect sense. No, 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 it wasn't even the council, it was just one random county councillor that said okay. it. I don't mean that the person was random, but it was just a one-off remark. Right. It wasn't okay. a policy by anybody, well, indeed. Now, quickly, there, there are problems with them in certain parts of North Dublin, and there are specific actions mm. being taken in those particular places. Yeah, no, but, 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 I mean, the moral of the story is, I mean, don't believe in 10 tonnes of rubbish on the beach and, and then wondering why the wider seagulls. Yeah. You know, yeah. we can't be having it both ways. I'm on the side of the seagull, even if I did eat the <laughs>